Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cup. Today we're making teriyaki glazed bone marrow with uh, katsubushi on top. So some bonito flakes dancing. But uh, the, before we have a look at what we have here on the board, if you're not a subscriber yet, please do me the favor. Hit the subscribe button and set the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. And yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as last time, but that's because I've filmed both episodes in one day. So please excuse that part. But now let's have a look at the board. As you can see, it's not that many ingredients. We have our teriyaki sauce, homemade. So I'll show you how we did that quickly. For our homemade teriyaki sauce, we need half a leaf of kombu an onion, half a big one or a whole small one like this, half a carrot, garlic, 20 grams of sugar, 60 grams of cooking sake, um, 60 grams, 60 grams of soy sauce, and 60 grams of mirin. The rest all happens at the stove. So let's move over there. First thing we need to do is to add our three liquids, the sake, the mirin, as well as the soy sauce. And now we need to bring this to a boil. So let's come to a boil. We'll add our garlic. We'll cut our onion in half. And we'll cut some smaller pieces of our carrots. Tore the combo in half too. And then we work this in. And now we want to reduce this we turn down the heat a bit. We want to reduce this to two thirds. We're there with the reduction, so we add our sugar. Now we just need to make sure that that melts in. Our sugar has diluted nicely, so now all that's left is to strain it. We have our strainer set up. We just pour everything in. And that's our homemade teriyaki sauce. Easy peasy. We need some fleur de sel, we need some katsubushi, some bonito flakes, and we need our bone marrow. Now, these have been in the fridge overnight in cold water. So you could cover them with water in a container, leave it in the fridge overnight. Like that, they stay whiter during the oven process. But the next step is to put these into the oven at 180 degrees for about five to six minutes and then we'll take them out and we'll glaze them but you'll see all that. So preheat your oven, I will prepare a tray and then we put them in once the oven is hot. So I just put a baking paper on top, just makes the cleaning easier afterwards. Now in it goes, probably even a bit longer than what I said, eight minutes. So eight minutes are done. We have our teriyaki sauce. Could probably have used some more reduction. And now this goes back in for three minutes and then it's ready. Now let's serve one up. But we'll let it cool a bit because it's really hot now. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm actually going to reduce the homemade teriyaki sauce a little bit more and then we're going to glaze it with the last layer. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes once it's cooled down a bit. So this is what we should have had from the beginning. So when you do this yourself, just reduce it a bit more. Our salt and our katsubushi. Now we're going to finish this off, but before we do that, as always, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about the episode. So do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there below, it takes you a second, but it's so valuable for me to get the content out there in the YouTube universe. So don't forget. But now let's finish this off. Some fleur de sel. And a bit of katsubushi. And 
And that's it. Our teriyaki glazed bone marrow with katsubushi. Now let's dig in. Now I believe the best way to enjoy this is with a piece of toast. So I just toasted up some bread. Let's just get in here. Grab a bit of bone marrow with everything. Try to get it on the toast, it's quite slippery. This is so good. I mean, bone marrow for me is a bit like goose liver without the taste. But when you add so, such umami packed flavor like teriyaki and katsubushi, it's almost better than goose liver. Flavors just distributes so evenly and nicely in your mouth. It is a rich dish though. Umami packed, but rich. Now, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a comment below. Or if you have a question about the dish, leave a comment below. Um, don't forget to reduce the teriyaki sauce a bit more than what I did. I showed you afterwards what it should look like, uh, but that's the only thing you, you need to consider. Good luck making it. Thank you for this time. Oh, and if you're not subscribing yet, hit the subscribe and check the bell icon. But now that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.